Well, as a small business owner, right, I'd like you to share, yeah, I'm shifting to a little bit different uh, topic, share your, you've been in small, but you've been running this business or small business for over 20 years. What are your top three insights to running and operating a small business? Well, first of all, I think that every business owner, I mean, and this gets talked about a lot. So if you, you know, you do a quick Google search, you'll hear about how every entrepreneur, you know, I've done 90 things wrong and three things right along the way. There's no question, but you learn from all those experiences of doing something wrong. And I never really think I've ever done anything wrong. I think that I've just had a learning experience on what not to do next time when something happens in the same situation. So it's really important that, you know, even though we have all our struggles, regardless of how successful we are, it doesn't matter if you're Bill Gates or who you are, everybody has had struggles along the way at some point in their career. So it's really just about how do you learn from those experiences so that you don't make maybe those mistakes again, or that you're better the next time. So Thomas Edison said, took him a thousand times to figure out how to invent the light bulb. And people said, well, you failed 999 times. He said, no, I didn't. I, I learned 999 ways not to do it. Yeah, isn't that the right? truth? And but... eventually he got to that spot where he did. And so we have to just slowly clear away that stuff. So that's a great, that's a great insight. What else? Well, and as you know, as, a, as an entrepreneur, it, it is lonely and um, you know you have a vision and not everybody always sees that vision the way that you see it or the strategy that you're trying to achieve or the goals that you're trying to achieve and there's a lot of people out there that might be discouraging to you or, or you know call them the haters of the world and you know I could probably say and John you and I have talked about this before um, you know I can on my hands I could tell you a number of people that said you know you need to quit you know you, this isn't gonna work you know whatever they have to be saying and you have to have the confidence that's if i can say anything have the confidence to believe in what you're doing and push through what those haters are saying and it's really really important persistence and perseverance right it doesn't exactly. come easy if it did everybody would do it exactly exactly nothing you know what if somebody's telling you something and you know it sounds so easy and so magnificent it's probably not true uh, it, there's always a grain of salt there, right? Absolutely. Okay. And what else? Well, and, and really, like, just to talk a little bit more about that, um, you know, in my years of experience, and, and, you know, there's other people who are way more experienced than I am, um, people's actions always speak louder than their words. And I think, you know, everybody has good intentions and they speak what they want to do but the actions are always louder than their words and so i think you have to trust your instincts and you know persevere through some of that because sometimes somebody's going to tell you something and you think oh my god i got the world by the shirt tails and then 20 minutes later you're on this roller coaster and you're on this high to this low and you know the actions are what really do depict right because people can say anything it's what they do that makes a difference yeah Right, it and really the same is. thing. Same thing from you, from a leader standpoint. Right, you can Absolutely. say anything you want, but it's what you do that makes a difference. Um, excellent. Thank you for those for those insights.